I was born in South Korea, but I grew up most of my childhood life in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I still remember to be a beautiful country with a great culture and a rich history. By living in South America and being one of the minorities, it was difficult and challenge that I had to face almost every day. I just couldn't fit in well. My parents decided that it would be better for myself and my brother to move to the United States to get a better life and education. In 1996, we settled in New Jersey, and I was 16 years old with no English education. You know, just moved to a new country, and probably this was the most difficult chapter of my life. At the same time, I proved myself that I, I could succeed in this new life. I remember one day, my college roommate asked me if I wanted to join with them the Air Force ROTC program. It never crossed my mind that I would not ever join the military, but looking back, I think I made the right choice. And that's how my Air Force life and career started. However, nothing in life is easy, and joining the ROTC program was a challenge. The requirement for you to become an officer in the United States Air Force is to have a citizenship, and I didn't have it at the time. I did submit my paperwork through the immigration process, and after a long wait uh, for about two years, I got a call from my ROTC detachment commander and told me that I needed to go to the immigration office right away. At the immigration office, proudly wearing my uniform, I recited a citizenship oath and became a U.S. citizen. As a cadet, you had to list what dream jobs that you'd like to pursue in the Air Force. One day, the detachment commander came out to me and said, Ruben, you were selected to be a civil engineer officer. And knowing my college degree was a biomedical engineering, which was nothing related to the civil engineer career path, I was very skeptical in how successful I was going to be in the Air Force. Studying as a young civil engineer officer and having a non-traditional civil engineer degree, I felt somewhat out of place, but I learned through the years to embrace it. I took it upon to myself that I needed to prove that I'm worthy to be a civil engineer officer. I'm always learning from great leaders and fellow civil engineers, and always challenge myself to do better. And so far, I'm proud of what I have accomplished. I'm currently assigned to the Air Force Civil Engineer Center as the Installation Planning Branch Chief under the Planning Integration Directorate. We we'll provide direct support to the installation planners who are at the forefront of ensuring that installations remain viable and functional to support the mission as power projection platforms into the future. It takes smart planning in order to accomplish the task of developing sustainable, resilient, right-side installation of the future. To accomplish these goals, planners will need to advise and support the installation commander's vision at the same time, trying to incorporate a new technology or a common technology that will be integral to the installation of the future. Another program that we are responsible for, it is the Enterprise Facility Space Management Program. Per DOD, we need to reduce the footprint across the enterprise. So the Air Force successfully implemented a significant telework requirement across the enterprise. And we have done some studies where it has shown that expanded telework can be used to optimize and reduce a facility space and infrastructure. It will ultimately free up some resources and improve the quality of life for the workforce. Some of the opportunities I was able to enjoy while in the Air Force were the multiple assignments and able to travel around the world. They added some meaning into my life, which actually helped me grow as an individual and as an officer. It doesn't take an engineering degree to understand what it takes to be an airman. Humility and compassion are key traits that will help you succeed as a leader in the Air Force or as a civil engineer officer. These are the key traits I'd like to leave for our future airmen. I'm proud to be a civil engineer because I believe in its mission and in what it stands for. There is no single path that is perfect for a civil engineer officer. As long as you can lead airmen and stay true to the Air Force core values, you can have a very successful career as a civil engineer officer. You have been my family for 18 years and looking forward to see how the civil engineer family will evolve into the future. And rest assured, you'll be part of me for the rest of my life. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Ruben Choi, and I am United States Air Force Civil Engineer.